Hey everyone, welcome back to Minecraft with your host, Abraham Sandwich. Uh, so, I've done a lot off camera. And I mean a lot. Uh, so, first, uh, I changed my skin. Oh, I should take off my helmet. <laughs> uh, I made it myself. I took a Goku outfit and I made my little sandwich. It's pretty great, I think. Okay, uh, so now that that's out of the way, let's see. Uh, next, I want to show you what I did to the house. So, I spent a little bit of time with the interior. I'm still not 100% with it, but I, it's a lot better than it was. Look at this. Isn't this great? Find a black cat when I was out exploring. Uh, got a little uh, music room, you know? Never know when you need to just chill on a couch and listen to some good tunes. Uh, changed where the stairway was up to the bedroom. So, looks a little bit nicer and neater now. And also... You know, you get to watch the sunset going to bed, which is way better. Um, now, let's go back down here. Woo. Okay. Uh, I built a map. And you can see something special right where the gunpowder farm is, can't you? Okay. And so under here, uh, you can see I finished. It's working, guys. I'm so happy. Oh, my gosh. I finally finished this thing. Look, you just throw it in. Okay, let me put my top button back on. Uh, I actually don't have a spot for watermelon slices. I have a spot for the watermelons. I think, yeah, it's right there. So those should end up in the miscellaneous, which will take forever to get here. So we're not going to wait for those. Um, we should be able to watch them actually go. Maybe. Yep. Look at that. There they go. Great. Um, so it's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, also found this guy walking around outside and I thought it'd be kind of fun to have a villager. So I named him Kenny and, uh, I'm going to transform him later. Uh, let's see. Okay. Now that, oh yeah. Gunpowder farm. Oh. Look at this thing. Isn't this thing epic? I'm super happy with it. Uh, decided to build a spot for me to AFK that was high enough off the ground. Um, that would allow this thing to be the most optimized it can basically be. Um, so, if I go back in here, I haven't done much else. Uh, I did change up, however, how they were being killed. So now, it just is gunpowder that flows up here. Uh, so I might actually make this tube go all the way to the surface. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. But it's been fairly efficient. I've already cleaned it out completely. And this is just from me wandering around working on a couple things. Uh, one thing I'll show you guys, it's kind of cheaty. But, you know, hey, we do what we do. Uh, so slash, let's see. I only do this to check things, okay? I don't just cheat with this thing. So, as you can see, there's a lot of caves right next to this thing that aren't lit up. And I thought they were all going to be lit up because I spent hours in these caves. But I spent hours over there. You can see how everything is lit up in that direction. Uh, so I have a lot of caving to do still, uh, to completely light this entire place up, but otherwise this thing would be a lot more efficient. So it's not as efficient as it can be right now, but it's pretty good. So let's see, uh, show you guys the pow the gunpowder farm. I showed you guys the storage system finish. Oh, oh, I also, uh, noticed with the guardian farm um, that they kept kind of falling into the lava and I watched them for a while where the lava was and I realized that actually like half the guardians were burning up um, I didn't really realize it before because I was just always going straight down to where they fell uh, so I decided to actually just take away the lava and just let them take fall damage and uh, had to take away the water as well so it gets really chaotic in there but holy crap this thing's a lot more efficient like I heal my stuff so much faster now and it's great uh, hi Jerry how you doing great okay so yeah I've been doing a lot of work I've been really cleaning things up basically taking care of like uh, I would almost consider it like admin responsibilities, you know, like tiny little details that maybe you keep neglecting and you're like, ah, I need to do those. I keep forgetting to do that. Like putting lights on top of my building so that way monsters don't spawn, you know, like things like that. Uh, so the, the one other thing in that responsibility is this. This 
crappy house that I started in that when a creeper would blow it up, I'd patch it with the next wood I had in my inventory. Uh, and this little hut I made for the villager I transformed at the beginning, who just died on me, by the way. And so I need to take care... Micah! Oh, um, oh, come, yo, come, yo, oh, yo. oh my... I forgot about Micah, guys. Uh, we're gonna get you home. Here, take some take some cooked fish. Oh. Um, yo, um. Take, take some cooked fish. Good enough. Uh... Okay, we're going to make him a home leader. So for today's episode, I'm going to work on getting rid of this final piece of garbage. Uh, finding a home for these guys. Uh, excuse me, do you mind? Thank you. Uh, I guess making a home for, uh, for Micah over here, because I completely forgot. Uh, and then I want to get working on my villagers a little bit more. Because, yeah, I think they need a little bit of attention. They're... I got some pretty decent villagers. I got mending, I got looting three, um, and I want to start building them structures that I can trade with them in that would be just a little bit more, I don't know, easy to work with. So uh, I'm going to get to work on that probably in this episode a little bit. Uh, probably won't get very far. And then uh, the l thing I want to start with in this episode is uh, through the nether real quick. Woo, made it. Okay. Going in the nether. Okay, we gotta go off this way. Anybody else excited for the next update? I am. They just, uh, w while I'm recording this, they just put out the update that um, they're putting in an, even another biome, and I'm really excited for it. It looks really cool. Okay. Okay, so you can see I put a portal here for the Mesa biome because I wanted to just be able to mine this when I need to because uh, I'm thinking about starting to try to build with terracotta. I'm not sure yet. What I wanted to start this episode out with is right here. Yep, I found it right next to here. I came here, flew around for a second, and found it. So we're going to start this episode by clearing out the Woodland Mansion. Let's do this. This is actually the first one of these I've ever taken on by myself. So, this is kind of fun. There you go. Oh. Woohoo. Wow, there's just creepers chilling. Hey, don't blow it up. I like this place. This place is beautiful. Got like jail cells. What's in here? Creeper? Uh, you guys can chill. Let's see, this goes up. Whoa, what the? Where does this go? Where am I going? What's happening? What is this? Whoa! I'll take those. Uh, nah, I don't need that. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of mobs here. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Ah, I wanted to keep this place clean. Dang it. Oh, whoa, no. Oh, okay, get. Nope, stop. Get out of here, baby zombie. No one likes you. Oh, yep, you could render in. That's great. Oh, wow, there is. Okay, first floor conquered. Let's go. I'm running out of torches. Oh, hello, friend. Oh, I need to take care of you nice and quick. Here, come. come. You, do you mind? Uh, they should disappear, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Ah. Oh, that hurts. 
Come here. Come here. Heal up a little bit. Oh, oh, hello. Wow, hello. How you doing, zombies? No, get back. Whew. Better not blow this place up. Nope. Get out of here. Okay, okay, heal up, heal up. Hey, I got some totems. Uh, let's put that in my offhand. There we go. Stop. Just stop. Oh my gosh. Just despawn already, please. Oh, there's a totem. The chicken! I found the chicken, guys. Stop. Just die. Yeah, can you die already, too? Nothing there. Okay. Hi, friend. Ooh, aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. All right. I think this area is pretty much clear. Let's go up, then. Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Got him. Dang, these guys really suck. Oh. Ooh. Okay, we're good. <laughs> nope, step back. Okay, we're good. We're good, guys. We're good. Can these guys please die? Man, I need a better food source so bad. I keep having to eat. It's so annoying. I, I think I did it. Dang it. <laughs> right at the very end. Oh, no, 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 no. Nice study. It's great. It's nice. Okay. You, you can go. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. So, uh, let's see. Let's get my elytra back out. And put this back in here. And then, let's see. Miscellaneous valuables. Let's throw my totems in here. That's good. Okay. And let's uh, head back home. Okay, okay. And home. Uh, just to prove that it works, check us out. We're going to throw everything we got. We're just going to throw it all in here because we don't care. Boom. Emeralds, first slot. Sorry, that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> I had a, I had a mistake when I was loading it all and something with the emeralds. Look at it. It's going in. And then look, let's let's throw these at the beginning. Uh, the bones were just going. Bones should go. Or are they up top? I'm trying to remember. Bones are up top. Okay, they'll they'll be there in a minute. So, these are the only things that I don't really have a spot for, and the carpet, and the hose. There we go. Everything showed up. Uh, so the idea is that all of these will fill before the next row will fill and then the next row um, I did put some random stuff in these but like this one has the somewhat valuable miscellaneous stuff like name tags and dragon heads uh, oh also I went end busting obviously to get all these shulker shells that I used to color code uh, let's see right in ooh, uh, blue one the blue one look at that Went and found nine different things, got stocked up, uh, grabbed all of these from the end dungeons, and have been basically putting everything to work 
and getting my shulkers all set up so I have like the new U box, you know? Anytime you need to refresh, you just died. Got all my new gear right there. Uh, got my miscellaneous valuables, so as you already saw, this has like uh, my tridents, totems, crossbow. I'm still working on getting good enchantments on that. Uh, my two top tier fishing rods, you know, because you always need a top tier fishing rod. Uh, beacon in a box. Went and killed some, another wither. Got a beacon in a box. And so I always keep just an ender chest on me now. So keeping it simple. So yeah, uh, let's see. Rest of, it, rest of today, we're going to work on clearing out those two little huts, cleaning that up, and then getting to work on our village a little bit. I don't know how far I'll get on the village, but I hope to make some decent progress on it. I basically want to get a trading hall set up, and I think I'm going to build it somewhere over here. And I kind of want it to be like a shopping mall, you know, like a big open shopping mall with two levels. Um, and because I kind of want to keep playing with this like on the outside up top is this very modern blocky look so I think I'm gonna create a sort of shopping mall area over here uh, maybe round out this lake make it a little smaller uh, and deeper probably because I don't like that it's just one level uh, yeah so let's get to work okay so let's figure out where we're gonna put these guys first Micah it's time for you to get a new home bud let's go bud Come on. This way. Did you guys know that Micah used to be a chicken jockey? He had a zombie on his back and I saved him. You can chill with the other bird and the cat up here, okay? You just, you just chill over here, okay? You gotta watch the TV. Look at that. Oh. Hi, friend. You enjoying my house? It's great. Okay, let's tear this thing down. Okay, I really only need two of you of each kind, so don't look, kids. That's that's enough thinning of the herd. Uh, let me see. So I think I'm just gonna build a structure out here for them somewhere. Um, I don't really feel like tackling that today. Uh, let's see. So uh, it feels wrong to just keep leaving this, but. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm going to get to work on the villagers. Uh, I'm just going to start grabbing some blocks. Um, I've already been doing tons of mining for gravel and sand and things to get resources in place. So I guess let's just offload what we have in our inventory, grab some new blocks, and get to work. Okay, so it's the next day for me. Uh, I have been swamped actually in this quarantine season with making videos and doing content like that So I had to sit down and grind out some edits But I did get to work listen to some podcasts and I've been terraforming been trying to clean up this area make it look a little bit better What do you guys think of this? Look at this. I Like it a lot. I think it's gonna add a lot. I want to uh, I already did it a little bit But I want to add fish to my pond so I want to add like a lot more and maybe name all of them just for fun. Uh, more grass, maybe replace all the sand with dirt, make it look a little cleaner. Um, but right now, I'm laying the groundwork for the main goal of what today is, is I'm going to work on a shopping center. I'm really excited for this. So I, I have a lot of things in my head, a lot of things I have no clue if it's even gonna work out. I have not mocked this up in creative at all. So this is all going to be very trial and error. Hi, cat. Um, but I basically want this to be two stories in a giant L shape. You can kind of see the shape I went for. And it's going to be pretty big. Not like massive, but big enough. I want it to be like full of detail and kind of feel close knit a little bit. Uh, so the first floor is going to have like all the shopping I'm thinking. And then the second floor, I want to build like coffee shops and like a bookstore and like just random stuff, you know. So uh, I still don't know how it's all going to get laid out and everything like that. But I did spend a good amount of time with this little uh, concrete maker thing I made over here. Uh, super simple design. And I have been making a ton of concrete. So that's all right here. So I got almost everything I need to pretty much get the structure building. So I'm going to get to work on that right now. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep it super blocky or maybe have like slants. Hmm. 
That's better. Not sure. Hmm. Is that like this? I almost like how it's like that slanted, but then this is straight. Maybe I can do something else with this area so it's not just the same exact sort of thing all the way around. Okay, yep. I hate it. Uh, <laughs> I've been struggling with this for hours. And it's just too big, you know? Like, it covers up that house. I don't like that. It, um... I tried to play around with like the idea of like a little coffee shop in here. Uh, so you could have like a little coffee shop area with an out overlook stairs up to like a potential library. But I honestly just like I'm not sold on it. It feels too big and bulky for this area. I don't know if I just need to like shift this end that's sticking out over that direction or I don't know, but I think I'm going to tear it down. <laughs> Great. Okay, so I think I finally got it. Eh? I think it looks nice. Uh, definitely made it a little bit smaller. I didn't really need it that big. I think I was just wanting something big, but I don't need it that big. Uh, so this is kind of obviously still a work in progress. Uh, the idea is that each one of these squares would be a sort of merchant. So like this guy would sell mending, this guy would sell aqua affinity or whatever I want basically. So I'll have an entire floor of just like merchants. And then you go up the stairs. And then I'm going to put a bunch more over in this area. And then last area is just going to be kind of a hangout spot. Uh, kind of overlooking everything. I think it will be kind of a cool feature. I want to add a lot of like uh, shrubs and bushes and stuff up here, make it look a lot nicer. Obviously, this isn't going to be the floor. Uh, I need to figure out my block palette and if I need to go chop down a ton of wood to do a wood floor like in my house. Uh, so I'm tired of working on this thing and I'm absolutely exhausted. Uh, it has taken me probably about two to three hours to tear down what I had and then build this. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. Uh, if you enjoyed, let me know what you guys think of this building and if you think I can make any improvements anywhere. Uh, and again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.